Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest graced the cover of People Magazine's Half Their Size issue, looking amazing and sharing her inspirational weight loss story. She tipped the scales at 407 pounds, and today she's 217 pounds lighter. Mm. Please wow. welcome health and fitness coach Laura Calvert. Yes! Yes! Come on, yes. come on, you Through. Come on in the room. Yes. You want to give us all of your legs? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Okay. Thank you. Have a seat, dear. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Woo. Thank you. I mean, you just look yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. The weight loss journey, completely amazing, completely transformable. God. How did People Magazine get your story? Um, they found me on Instagram. Really? Yeah. And what happened? They just DM'd you or? Yeah, a DM. <laughs> wow. So what did you say back then? Like, like this is not really people magazine. Yeah, I told her, I said, I cannot believe it. You gotta have to give me some more information. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the cover. Yeah. So, wow. and, and, and what, that I didn't know. You look beautiful. You're <laughs> stunningly yeah. gorgeous. Thank you. At what age did you realize that you were a bit overweight and this was an issue for you? Uh, it had to be in elementary. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of get the feeling, oh, I'm bigger than everybody else. Everybody's, you know, not as big as I am. So it had to yeah. be then. Wow. And um, you, it's you know the weight weight issues they span from many different reasons. Yeah. One of the issues that you suffered with was alcoholism. Yeah. Um, talk to us about how that played a role in you gaining weight, and what you had to do mentally and emotionally to kind of get through that hump in order to be the woman that you are right now sitting here with us. So and the alcohol played a role, of course we know that it's, you know, sh nothing but trigger anyway. Yeah, that's it, huh? But then after that, it triggers eating more. You know, you just right. want to eat, 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 yes. you know, to feed that liquor. So, you know, it was like fast food and, you know, going to the foods that, yeah. you know, I didn't Cause you, eat. Because you talked about how you would go, you could go through on a drinking side, oh, a, yeah. a fifth of liquor a day. Yeah. Oh, girl, you were very busy. Yeah. <sighs> Yes, I was. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. And still, you know, go to work the next day. So the functional yeah. alcoholic yeah. is what mm -hmm. they call it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it was soothing for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would mask and hide a lot of things that yeah. I was already going mm -hmm. through. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you just want to forget and kind of mm -hmm. just, you know, and for that moment, mm -hmm. I would, but it would all come back. Yeah, yeah. it would mm -hmm. all come mm -hmm. back. Well, you had a small heart attack at age 26, yes, but you didn't go to the hospital right away. No. So, you, did you not know it was a heart attack at first, or you just didn't really care at that time? So Both. what was going through your mind? Really? So can you, can you walk us through that story? Yeah, so you know, I was at home with someone that I was dealing with, and I started to hyperventilate. My breathing started to get erratic, and mm -hmm. then my blurry, my vision started to become blurry, mm -hmm. and then I started getting tight in the chest, and he's like, you need to go anywhere somewhere, and I'm like, no, I went outside on the balcony thinking, oh, air is going to be okay. You know, I'm okay. And then I got I found myself on the balcony, and I'm like, I don't even care anymore. Wow. Oof. Were you in denial? I probably was. Yeah, dealing yeah. with a lot of that, and then depression at the time. So yeah. I really, at a point, I was like, I, I'm ready to give up. Yeah. You oh know, God. you told People Magazine, despite even having the heart attack, mm -hmm. that still didn't w wake you up. What mm -hmm. truly woke you up was one day you were at the grocery store, and a little girl was with her dad, and she said. Hey, Dad, look, she's fat. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, no. What was it in her words that kind of ignited you to say, I got to make a difference? I have to make a change? It was a trigger. It was definitely a trigger of something that I already knew within. It was just like the straw that broke the camel's back. It wasn't, you know, her, or the words she said. It was just, it was more, it was more deeper than that. You know, mm. so it hit home for sure. Well, you know what? You're here. Yes. You look fantastic, you and you're 270, 17 pounds lighter. Yeah. Thank you. So, what were some of the things that you did uh, physically? Yeah. Like, uh, what were the exercises that you started off mm. with? What are some of your favorite exercises? Because you know you got to like to exercise, child. You can't yeah. just say I'm gonna lose weight yes. and then just do anything. <laughs> so, yes. what were some of the things that you did to kind of uh, lose the weight? So, in the beginning, it was a lot of cardio, mm -hmm. um, and then as I, you know, went through my journey, I learned that I needed to do more weight. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like weight, strength yeah, training, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was definitely, you know, how I do it now. So 
I mean, God is just has, he just has a thumb on your life. Like, yeah. real mean, because you went through your heart attack at 26. You had a car accident. Mm -hmm. I mean, so how did you manage to take care of yourself and stay on your weight loss journey with so much happening? Well, yeah. Thank you for my mama, because I swear I don't know where I would be without her. Because mm -hmm. she did support me through the whole way. She helped make sure my meals were still remaining the same because mm -hmm. I wasn't able to work out at that time. But one thing I do say that I didn't let them tell me, those doctors tell me, because I broke my back. So I have mm. pins in my back now. Wow. But I didn't let the doctors tell me that I couldn't work out anymore because they were telling me, oh, yeah, there's only limited workouts mm -hmm. that you can do. No, honey, I deadlift, I, I squat, right. I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> How long has that been now? From my accident, it's been about two and a half years now. Awesome, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about you turning what was a wall at one point for mm -hmm. you into a business. Oh my goodness gracious. So, I mean, I never thought that this was going to be what my passion was. Mm -hmm. Now I, you know, assist to help women work through their mental barriers, the most mm -hmm. important part of losing weight, because if you're not willing to work through your mental barriers and get through that part, you can, it's going to be a continuous cycle yes. of off and on diet. Absolutely. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. Yes. Well, Laura, we thank you so much for thank your you inspiring for story, me. your weight loss thank story. You. And for more of Laura's health tips, go to gettingfittolive.com.